Hi, my name is Neil Raker. I'm here today to talk to you about compressed air receiver tanks. Specifically, I want to address the issues of when to use one and how to set one up for an application. First, it would be helpful to know what a compressed air receiver tank is and what function it performs in a compressed air system. In the simplest of terms, you can think of a compressed air receiver tank as a compressed air battery or a capacitor. This is because they store up the compressed air energy within the system so it can be used during times of high demand to aid in keeping the compressed air system pressure at a reasonably stable condition. Keeping compressed air pressure stable improves the overall performance of a compressed air system when large spikes in demand would otherwise create havoc within the system pressure, usually resulting in persistent system pressure drops. What is pressure drop? Pressure drop is a condition when the demand for compressed air volume exceeds the available supply. This results in a drop in the system pressure. When a product that uses compressed air is designed to be used at a specific pressure for maximum performance, that performance will suffer if the pressure drops below design pressure. Up to 5 PSIG pressure drop is usually considered acceptable in most systems. Anything higher than that is not satisfactory. Pressure drops can occur for a variety of reasons that can include improperly sized hose, pipe, and fittings in the compressed air supply which limit the flow of compressed air from the main compressor system. The purpose of a secondary receiver tank is to act as a buffer to the rest of the system. During short duration, large use compressed air events, the compressed air receiver tank gives up its energy directly to the application to which it's attached without affecting the pressure in the rest of the compressed air system. The effect is as if the application is located very near to the main compressed air receiver tank due to the availability of the large volume of air to handle the application properly. The secondary receiver tank effectively extends the ability of the compressed air system to operate high volume compressed air events even if they are far away from the larger compressed air lines. With Xair being a manufacturer of compressed air products, we discuss with our customers different strategies for plumbing compressed air to our products. In many cases, it does make sense to include a receiver tank in the compressed air line. Generally, the applications are going to involve the intermittent use of compressed air to generate an effect onto a target material, the key word being intermittent. In other words, the compressed air application does need to turn on and off with some regular frequency to allow the compressor system to replenish the secondary receiver. Otherwise, a secondary receiver tank will not have the intended effect of acting as a buffer due to being depleted completely of its storage capability. Now that we know when to use a secondary receiver tank, I want to show you the features of an air receiver tank and how to set one up for your application. The most important feature has to do with how the tank is manufactured. Compressed air tanks are a pressure vessel and can be quite dangerous if not manufactured or set up properly. Being classified as such, pressure vessels have to be made to exacting performance standards to mitigate the possibility of injury to personnel and damage to property. With this in mind, compressed air receiver tanks should be made to ASME or American Society of Mechanical Engineers standards. The most noticeable feature is the tank's feet. Some tanks are oriented vertically like this one. Some are in a horizontal position. The feet are designed to allow for secure attachment to a stable base, usually a concrete floor. The last safety feature I wish to show you is the safety relief valve. The safety relief valve is a valve set for a specific pressure above which it will open and release a volume of air inside the tank. If for some reason the compressed air pressure continues to build higher, this safety valve keeps the tank from seeing pressures higher than it was designed for. Other features on this tank would include a good quality pressure gauge to enable monitoring of the pressure within the tank visually. A tank drain is installed at the bottom to allow for emptying air, water, or other debris that may end up collecting within the tank over time. Finally, we have the connections for the compressed air supply and for distribution of the compressed air. 
There are a variety of outlets available with different sizes to accommodate different loads. If you have any questions regarding receiver tanks, compressed air systems, and especially point of view application products, please call us at 1-800-903-9247.